Hi guys, so I've got one of these digital photo frames and uh, it stopped working. Uh, initially I thought it might be the power supply, uh, but uh, if we actually measure that, we can see that uh, the power supply, it's supposed to output 5 volts at 2 amps and uh, it, it actually puts out just slightly above 5 volts. So let's just confirm that this actually outputs 5 volt. So I'm going to just uh, measure it like this. And there you can see 5.12 volt uh, doesn't have any load on it so that looks to be fine uh, however if i uh, connect this photo frame onto my bench power supply over there then uh, it starts up uh, without any problem right so the next step would be to put a load on the output of this uh, power supply and see what the uh, voltage level looks like then so uh, i think i'm going to be using this 5 watt 12 ohm resistor to put some load on it at uh, a capacity of 2 amps the power supply should be able to power this uh, resistor at 5 volts as well uh, so let's put it on and see what happens so I've just basically got it clamped uh, over like this and uh, you can see the one side of the resistor goes into the center pin there and the other side of the resistor is just clamped to the ground point of the power supply. So let's have a look and see what it looks like on the multimeter now with the load attached. It doesn't feel warmer, so uh, I doubt that that's actually turning on. But let's go and have a look what vol voltage we are measuring. Alright, let's measure it. Now that's definitely not turning on. There seems to be some sort of a voltage fluctuation. I'm not sure if the power supply is trying to turn on, but the load is maybe too great for it. I think we have to go and have a look at uh, what this output voltage looks like on the scope to see what's really happening on the output of this uh, power supply. I'm going to be connecting the scope lead. There we go. Whoa! Now what is that? Let's just slow down the time base. Yeah, there's definitely something happening there. Let's see if we can trigger on this. That does not look good. There we go. That's the problem. So you can see it's coming, spiking right up to 5 volts and then shutting down again. Right, so there's definitely something wrong with this power supply in that it cannot deliver 5 volts at uh, some sort of a load. Okay, I think uh, what we should do is uh, open up the power supply and just for interest's sake have a look and see if there's anything that we can uh, repair inside it. Now often these uh, power supply units are sealed uh, ultrasonically or uh, welded shut uh, by some sort of a plastic welding means uh, but it's uh, fairly easy to, to open these uh, little transformers or power supplies uh, it's undoubtedly a switch mode power supply and uh, the way with that we do that is to simply take a screwdriver and to really hit them hard right along these this side of the uh, seal uh, all around on the uh, on the seam there so I'm going to go uh, go ahead and do that and uh, so let uh, let me work on this for a while and see if I can get it open quickly so it turns out this is a really tough little bastard uh, I did manage to uh, sort of open it on the side here As you can see it's just starting to open there but uh, I had to apply a substantial amount of uh, force to actually get this little thing to uh, open up here. So let's see if we can crack it open a little bit more. Okay, so I had to work really hard to get this little sucker open. But uh, it was worth it. Uh, standard switch mode supply on the inside. But as you can see, uh, let me see if you can uh, observe those little capacitors there. They are both bulged 
so it seems to be a capacitor problem once again I'll uh, take them out and just uh, have a quick measure at them I'm not going to repair this little supply it's uh, really not worth it I've got another uh, spare one uh, to replace this with and uh, but let's just confirm that it is indeed the capacitors that have gone uh, turns out uh, I really don't have to desolder the capacitors uh, if you have a look at those capacitors really closely you can see the rubber seal at the bottom of the one capacitor has started to bulge out if I can maybe just zoom in there uh, there we go here you can see it's really just starting to pop out there definitely something wrong with the capacitor and there you have it that's your Fi Hong switch mode power supply not a very reliable power supply all right guys i think that's it for this quick little troubleshoot video and uh, mini teardown see you next time